Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 25 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinion on different Mega Man games. So sit tight and learn. Let's discuss a couple of things from Waltman stage before we move on. For one, these weird things that suck you in. Uh, they don't suck you in when you continue the stage and go below them. So here you can see the same kind of deal, but this one doesn't suck you in. Yeah, you can argue that this is the bottom part of the same thing, that's on the upper level, but they just look too similar, uh, wouldn't it make more sense that both of these sucked you in and not, not, the, not just the ones on the top? And the checkpoints are horrible, when you uh, teleport in, already the bees are coming, so if you died and you went to get a glass of water or something and you come back, you're dead, cause the bees just keep on coming, so what a fucking bad design. And let's not even talk about what's going on here, I still don't know what the fuck is slowing me down here. It's probably the things in the background, but what they are... Who the fuck knows. Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates Mega Man DOS. Right off the bat, my heart rate probably is not working cause Bluetooth decided to crap itself. And I don't have the fucking patience to fix it. I'll fix it for the next one. And uh, that would require a reboot, which I do not have the patience to do right now. So you're gonna probably see two lines. And we're just gonna have to deal with it. What comes to the game? We're gonna head to Dynaman stage and what a fucking weird portrait. Is that supposed to be his smile? Or what the fuck's going on with it? Alright, Dynaman. Looks like a black wrestler from the 80s. Holy shit! Right off the bat when you start the stage, prepare to get fucked. Cause there's more bees. Now, they ran out of ideas before they even started. Cause uh, the whole game is full of insects, bees, fucking bats and... Bugs and... Mosquitoes and... It's... Where is the creativity in this game? It doesn't exist. But I'm gonna show you something when we get through this section with the uh, bees here again. And the patterns that you have to dodge, they are just ludicrous. You pretty much have to know where to stand. It is just crazy. Alright, so here's one thing that I want to mention. These conveyor belts, they are fucking hard to read when they are so colorful. Which is going left and which is going right, you can barely tell. I mean, look at this, how can you tell? Tell me what side the upper one is going. It's going left. How would you fucking know uh, before you even go there? This is going right. Because there's no time to look at this shit. And this is going LEFT! And that is an example of what happens when you try to jump right on the edge of a platform. It doesn't work. How did I fucking dodge that? But, let's check our weapon. So in order to pick our weapon, you have to press V. You, you know, from Vault. Yeah. Best shield weapon ever. Oh, it's almost out of power. There we go, and now it's empty. What, a, what an experience. The other thing about it is that it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. So you can you can have the shield up and the B little uh, little projectiles can still hit you. So it's not a very good shield when sometimes it doesn't work at all. Remember when I said I picked the worst stage last time? Nope, this is the worst. Ugh! Check this out. Someone's calling us. Alright, what a lovely sound. Mwah! I love it. The only way to get damaged by these things is to go straight under the thing. But most players, when they come here, would just run. And this is what happens when you just run. Oh. 
You were supposed to look at the arrows, but in a fast, like in a fast-moving uh, game like this, uh, you uh, you just you just miss that. Someone did point out that it's a bit faster than uh, than it should be, but let me show you how how slow it is. Like I think this is closer to the original speed. I'm not gonna fucking play this game at this speed. Look at this. There is no way. So let's let's just have a bit more speed, shall we? Because that is ridiculous. There we go. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a bit smoother this way. So don't torture yourself any more than need be. Let's see if the shield weapon works on the blocks. I'm kind of intrigued by the idea. What? It feels? Excuse me? It feels your weapon? What? I'm so confused. Why does it feel? Why does it fucking feel? Why? The screen is flashing all the fucking time as well. That is fucking confusing. Okay. And you know what? If you die here, this is the checkpoint. So again, if you die and you're like, I'm gonna go uh, get a glass of fucking milk and come back. You have game over because uh, you teleport here. Boop! And then you just lie to your dead over and over and over again. And here... You're just gonna not know what's down there. So you, everyone ends up doing this. Oh god! But, oh, there's nothing here. So you're treating the player like a fucking dumbass. The checkpoint should have been here. Why was it so hard to put the checkpoint here instead of there? Why not put it here? Jesus fucking Christ. Let's check this shit again. I actually wanna see. Yeah, it does feel it. What the fuck? Oh no! Again? What an easy game. And this is the spot where you should really use the shield. But it, it's go it goes away so fast that it's not even worth it. Like that spot almost requires the shield, it's almost impossible to get by without taking damage. God damn, this is just annoying. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Ridiculousness. Every time, like, can you see those flashes? Like, man. Also, if you hold down your buster, it does this. What you say to me? I'ma bust a cap in your ass, boy! I'ma still bust a cap on everyone's ass! Look at how mean he becomes, look at his eyes! Fuck y'all! Now, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, such a nice uh, attention to detail. This is for Mega Man 2, the last stage. But you know what's wrong with this? Listen! Holy fucking gold having a worse day of his life because it's diarrhea day. And it just goes on and on and on. It just goes on and goes on and on. And woo. You know, that's the one problem with this game is that a lot of these sections, they just go on and on and on because they wanted the game to be longer. And so they just, uh, they just uh, stretched all of these spots of the game. Needlessly. God damn it. There's like three different enemies per stage. This is like one of the only moving enemy besides that weird thing at the ceiling previously. And here you would just want to uh, slide. Like slide under there and see what, what is there, but she can't. The fuck is this sound? This is probably the easiest section in the whole game. 
It's like Dragon Slayer bullshit, but easier. Everything's either in the background or the foreground, so I, I don't see how that hurts you. And again, if you slide down there, you get the stone mass level. <laughs> Can you fucking stop the f I'm actually gonna have to mute this, because I want to explain. Alright, so the screen should not be so high up. You can't see where you're going. Let me demonstrate. Like, look at how high up the screen is. The screen should be down here. Not up here, because you can't see where you're going. Of course, it's not a problem there, but it will be a problem later, and I'll show you where. Now we can put our sound back on. Good heavens. More bugs. What the hell? Was it really so hard to make up enemies for a Mega Man game? What's up with the fucking bugs and insects? Oh, the shield kills it? Now it kills it? All of a sudden, the shield kills. Okay. Now it kills. That's great. And we are the boss, which is even more great. As you would imagine, the shield works on this guy. I don't know why, but if you guess that, you're really good. We're not on zero lives, so we can uh, check this guy out. Pretty cool, right? This is pretty cool. Listen to the sincerity in my voice. Welcome to Crash Man. If Crash Man was a black guy, and his only skill was to jump around and drop dynamite. And look at how fast he dies. Holy shit. Yay, we beat him with his weakness. Oh my lord. Got another uh, weapon to our plasma canoe Let's go check Sonic Man stage. Oh, can't wait to see this. Oh, look at him. He actually looks like a robot master. All right. Looks a bit different than the... Uh... <laughs> Alright, so you can probably tell that the background is a bit... eye-raping, to say the least. You're supposed to destroy that wall, either using dynamite or buster. Look at how long it takes. It doesn't make any sound of impact, so... You wouldn't know that that's what you're supposed to do, because it takes so many hits. That's cool. I'm gonna showcase the weapon soon, don't worry. I, I wanna do it in a good spot. Because... There is something about the weapon that you should know. How to get that E-Tank? Oh my god. How are you supposed to know that something's gonna come out of that little fucking thing there? Look at it. You're supposed to know that a little ball of fire underwater is gonna come from that little pipe. This is why this stage is the fucking worst. All of these stages are worst. I have no idea how to get that E-Tank, and uh, nor do I care. There we go, first room, no damage. No. The explosion still hurts you. After like five seconds. That's cool. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Before we go on, let me show you the weapon. It can blow off these walls. Easily, with one hit. But... I'm gonna show you why the weapon sucks. It hurts yourself! The motherfucking dynamite hurts yourself! Why would you ever use this weapon? Why the fuck would you ever use this goddamn weapon? And you could argue that yes, it's better than the hyper bomb because you can uh, detonate it yourself after like four seconds. You can't detonate it immediately. You have to wait like four seconds before you can do that. So here is another wall, but this one you can't break with the buster. Why not? It looks exactly the same. It is exactly the same wall as previously and now suddenly it's unbreakable. You need the dynamite here. Excuse me? What the fuck? This is the puniest fucking weapon I've ever seen. We just used almost the whole bar for that one wall and look. 
What a fucking choke. What an absolute fucking choke. What a fucking excuse of a weapon. This is probably the worst Mega Man room I've ever seen. Because there's no tail on those fucking fireballs. You don't you don't have any idea when they're gonna come out of the uh, pipes. There is isn't. It's just a timing interval. You're supposed to know that. Alright, let's see what the minimal amount of uh, trouble we could possibly get through to get through the uh, little uh, gate there for the extra life and whatnot stuff that was there. Let's, let's uh, really try to do our best here. Alright. Once you know everything and how to do it, it's not that bad, but... Still quite bad. Alright, so we got this far, so... Can't use the dynamite right on the wall, because it disappears. Gotta be here. There we go. This is where the problem starts. Where are you gonna locate yourself here? Alright, we actually got the... So... Right about here? Okay. But if you're here, the fucking wall just sucks the dynamite in. For some goddamn reason. Look at how precise you have to be. You have to be a certain length away from the wall to get it. That is just bullshit. And again, it taunts you. You can't go up there. So, what What the fuck? <coughs> Look at the dynamite bounce. Damn, girl. Let's get back to business then, shall we? Ah, fuck! Ooh. God, even like the way you're supposed to go, even, even the way you're supposed to go has the fireball. As you can see, I got hit going the right way where I'm supposed to go. So that is, that is fucking ridiculous. It's almost unavoidable. Nice, we are unstoppable now. Ah, the fireball even comes back for you, that's ridiculous. Just keep shooting because you don't know what's coming. Alright. And here the fish always spawn at the same spot. So you just want to kill this one fish that's just on your line of fire. Well, it's not on your line of fire, that's the problem. Unless you stand here. But it's on your line of fire as in it's gonna hit you. Ah, fuck you. Crap the ladder. This section again, it drags on and on and on. And it just makes the game needlessly longer. And the game's like 10 minutes long if you know what to do, what to do in any uh, anyway, so... so hard to hit that motherfucking fish. Again, the screen should not be this high up. You can barely see what the hell you're doing. So I'm pretty sure at this point we've found the worst weapon in, in Mega Man games history. It, this is the absolute worst weapon I've ever fucking seen. Yes, it's worse than the Hyper Bomb. It's worse than the Spark Shock. It is worse than the Top Spin. It is absolutely the worst fucking weapon I've ever seen in a Mega Man game. It is, by far, the worst. And I urge you to fucking find a worse weapon than dynamite. Get it? Cause dynamite? Dynamite? Get it? That's pretty funny. Again, no fucking idea what's down there. So everyone's just gonna do this. And bam, right in the fucking electric shock. Nice, beautiful. This game just crapped in your mouth, like repeatedly, and doesn't feel any remorse. It just keeps on going and going, until your mouth is full of shit. And you explode. Let's get that. Not sure if that was a good idea or not. But we have the shield weapon, holla fucking Louie. This is a good spot, it comes very handy in here. And it's out. Back to Buster. Because we can't kill these guys with the dynamite. Hell no. Can't kill shit with the dynamite because all of the enemies in this game are bugs and insects that just fly. So how would you ever hit anything with the fucking dynamite? That's nice. Put the frog right on top of the ladder. 
Classic. Classic fucking... God, fuck. Oh! Another one of these! I didn't even see them! How would you see those? Okay. Nice. Every stage has Yoku blocks. And don't bother killing that guy unless you're looking to farm, because it just comes back. Not sure if you noticed, but you can tip it home. Pretty cool, right? So points for that. And also the hurt animation needs to be uh, accurate. <clears throat> you guessed it. This guy's weakness. Dynamite. The worst fucking weakness you could have for a boss that never goes to the ground. He never fucking goes to the ground. And stays there long enough for you to hit, hit him with it. I'm just checking my life so I don't have to redo this bullshit. How would you ever hit this guy with dynamite? Yes, it takes health held away from him, but that's kind of the fucking... How would you ever hit it with the dynamite? There is no fucking way. And I'm gonna show you how fast he dies with just a buster. So why would you ever use the fucking weakness? You can just spam him to this, it doesn't matter. Like, he's easy as hell. Fuck the dynamite. <laughs> Alright, new weapon system to the cannon one. All three masters have given up code keys, but Dr. Willey is still waiting. Waiting for what? To give me the key? The key? The what? What is he waiting for? And why is the skull so embarrassed? That we're, because we're gonna go inside its mouth? Is that why? Is that why it's so embarrassed? They were code keys? Why would the robot masters carry the go code keys? When they, when they know? I don't fucking... Why am I overanalyzing the fucking story? Nobody cares. We are on the last stage. No transition, no UFO, nothing. And shall I remind you that Rush was on the cover of the box art? Rush is nowhere in the goddamn game, so was, was the box art the first time everyone saw Rush? I don't know. We are on the last stage though. And what a stage, let me, let me tell you, this is the most in, in, genius stage I've seen. Oh, revisits. Oh, it's the same guy, and we just killed him. I don't think I'm gonna use dynamite. The boss itself is actually pretty fun. Pretty fun uh, fight. For this game standards, anyway. Oh, that looked like a, a screw bomber. That was not a screw bomber, that was actually weapon energy. Check this glitch I found. So they never tested this. If you double KO one of the bosses, you actually glitch the game. So the next time you start the stage again, uh, you're inside the ground. You can still see Mega Man here and there, but the whole game is glitched. And you can see that uh, everything is just fucked up. But if you die again, it resets back to normal, so I don't know what the fuck was going on there. But they never tested what happens if you double KO someone. Oh. Uh, this is so bad that I don't have anything to say. Like I'm out of stuff stuff to say. It's it's just so bad. What is there to say about this old man? So let's try the last weapon we got. Okay. Oh, it's a Gemini laser. Well, weapon's kind of cool. Shame that the stage design sucks on all of these stages, so you would probably never use this weapon anyway. Huh. 
Ay, ay, ay. All right, stuck again. Like, wh what the fuck would you say on this stage? Look, a mat! A fucking mat! Two mats! Look at its face! Look at its face! It's like a cute puppy! The mats made an appearance! You probably wanna use shield here. Cause the last stage always tests your abilities to use the weapons you got. Hello, Crashman. Zero strategy needed, just fucking shoot shoot them. That's my strategy for the whole game, shoot the guys. And revisits are done. Oh, a Joe! Holy shit! The creativity really started here. A mat! Why the fuck are they red? Joe! Mat! Oh, before the last big fight, we can feel our stuff. You could never know what weapon uh, works on Dr. Willy. So let's feel our weapons here. There we go. Uh-oh, it's Dr. Willy. It's real, Dr. Willy! <laughs> Dr. Willy has surrendered. Mega Man has saved the planet from destruction. But will it last? Mega Man Concepts, Capcom. Design, graphics programming, sound. Steven Rosner. A little LNR logo there. Special thanks. Joel Pambio, or Pampid. Ron Santillano. Press fire. Oh, it just boots me to DOS. It boots me to DOS? Are you for real? Skull.sta Bin. I'll fucking put this game in the bin, I'll tell you that much. I can't wait to get uh, to Mega Man 3. And if you can't wait for us to get to Mega Man 3, then just sit tight. Next episode will be up soon. Ish. If you agreed on what I said, leave a like, and if you disagreed, you're a fucking monster. See you later. I can't believe we just played the whole game in two episodes. You can speedrun this game in 12 minutes. I'm not kidding, that's probably the world record. 12 minutes. Holy shit. Talk to you later.